who was that alicorn from Hearts and Hooves Day? It would only be fitting for the Princess of Love to be involved, but how? Is it possible that the alicorn is Cadence's mother? In my last video, I explored the idea that Cadence herself was the princess in that story. The love spell she cast was awfully similar to the love potion the prince whipped up, and the princess in that story was shown to be an alicorn, making me wonder if they're the same pony. Since we don't know how exactly alicorns age or when exactly the story took place, this might be true. So definitely check out the video after this. But those same unknowns leave us with other possibilities, such as the Hearts and Hooves Day story happening before Cadence's time. In fact, there's a chance Cadence is the direct consequence of this story. It would come as no surprise if the love spell resulted in a foal, and that foal may have been Cadence. She could be their daughter. Framing Cadence through this lens is easy. For example, her use of a love spell could be seen as her father's bad influence. But what becomes a challenge is the identity of that alicorn princess. If she's not Cadence, who is she? Maybe Celestia or Luna? While technically possible, there's really nothing connecting either of them to the story. But who else could it be? Those are the only alicorns that could have been around at the time. At least the only alicorns we know of. What if the mare in the story is an alicorn we don't know? An alicorn besides the five confirmed. This would have far-reaching implications for the history of alicorns in Equestria. And at first, it might seem like a big leap. But if you've seen my latest video on alicorns, it's not a problem at all. Basically, I think any pony can become an alicorn if they're exposed to magic from the three tribes. Check out the video for how I came to that conclusion. But if I'm right, this opens the door to there being other alicorns in history, and the Hearts and Hooves Day story is the perfect setting for that. The tale of a prince crushing on a princess seems to indicate that Equestria used to have multiple royal families, and being royalty in the public eye, presiding over ponies of all kinds, puts you in a position to be exposed to their magic. Just due to the nature of their jobs, I find it likely that multiple royals ended up becoming alicorns, especially if they earned praise and adoration. This would explain why the association between alicornhood and royalty is so deeply ingrained into the culture. There's historically a strong correlation. Not all royalty were alicorns, but most alicorns started out as royalty. And if anyone outside royalty happened to become an alicorn, the culture would come to see it as a sign that they were meant to rule. This way of thinking is clearly present in modern day, even though society must have changed a lot since then. Which makes you wonder how Equestria could have gone from a bunch of minor royals to just a few major ones. I think it's because as Equestria industrialized and developed infrastructure, the power in Equestria would become more centralized. All the minor prince and princesses would take a back seat to Celestia and Luna. The royals could live on, but with diminished power and more of a symbolic role in deference to the true leaders. I think we see the vestiges of this system today with Prince Blueblood. It's not clear what actual power he has, if any. Same could be said of Princess Cadence when we first met her. Perhaps that's because both are descendants of royal families who used to have a lot of sway, but once power began to concentrate on the royal sisters, not so much. I think this is the sense in which Cadence is Celestia's niece and Blueblood is Celestia's nephew. It's what remains of a royal tradition. This framework provides a bigger picture for the hearts and hooves Day story and lays the groundwork for how other alicorns may have been involved. However, it leaves a big question. Where are they now? If there was at least one alicorn besides the five we know, why haven't we seen them or heard anything about them aside from this? Perhaps they're just lost to history. Alicorns do have longer lifespans, but that doesn't mean they're immortal. Or perhaps they somehow lost their alicorn hood like Cozy Glow. See my alicorn amulet video. Unfortunately, that's where we hit a dead end. Equestria is full of mystery and probably always will be, but that won't stop us from exploring different possibilities. So what do you think? Is the alicorn from Hearts and Hooves Day Cadence or someone we know? Or is she someone else entirely? What would that mean for the history of Equestria? Leave your thoughts in the comments 
comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. If you want to support this channel financially, check out my perks at patreon.com slash sawtoothwaves. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier patrons, the Nameless One, Maximilian HG, Petrol Head 02, Cyanax and Fairfallen, Gilded Page, Dr. Hooves, Princess Starglow, and the winner of this week's Alicorn Raffle, Equinox 3141. Congrats, and thanks again for everyone's support. Y'all help make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Wave signing out until Friday after next. Brohu! And that's a wrap. I'm really proud of this one. I hope it gets lots of views. Maybe if I put Flurry Heart in the thumbnail. <laughs>